everybody it's kosha i am back if you clicked on this video then by the title you already know what this is all about i just want to get on here and have a quick conversation with my natural hair girlies out there um well women <laughs> um you guys so this has just been on my mind lately um, over the years, I have condensed my hair routine down so much and I'm always finding myself saying, yeah, let's just keep it simple, you know, and that's what has just made me stop a lot of the things that I was doing early on in my hair journey. Um, and you know, I just think we should all stop and ask ourselves sometimes, like, is everything in our routine that we're doing, is it necessary? Or are we overcomplicating things? And this is why I say that. So, a little backstory. Um, I've been natural for 10 years now. Um, when I first went natural the first five years, you guys, I didn't have a clue how to take care of my hair. Um, you know, never been natural before. I was trying to figure things out. I was watching all the YouTube videos, listening to all these natural hair gurus on here, you know, and the following their routines and listening to what they're saying oh you have to use all natural products um what else only use a uh, sulfate sulfate free shampoos only use all natural oils you need to be doing the loc method the the lco method uh, you need to be pre pulling you need to be um co-washing you need to be deep conditioning every time you wash your hair like all these things that was just making the wash day process so long like we are trying to have the most perfect hair trying that doing all these steps thinking that that is what we need to do to get our natural hair to grow that is what i was doing i was doing all of these things and it was just a lot and then y'all at the end of the day I say five years into my journey, I was tired of it. I was like, look, I'm doing all this stuff. My hair is still dry. My hair is dry. It just looked brittle. It looked dry and dull. It had no luster to it. And I'm using natural oils. I'm doing the LLC method. I did the LCO method. I'm trying all this stuff to get my hair to look moisturized and look healthy. And it just was not doing so. I don't even understand how all the crap I was doing, like my hair was still growing, but it just didn't look its best. And so I finally gave up. I cut all my hair off. Like I went low, low, like clipper cut, number one guard. Yes, it was that serious. Yeah, I will insert a picture if I can find a decent looking one, y'all. <laughs> I was going through a little rough period, <laughs> but if I find some cute ones, y'all, I'll insert some pictures so y'all can kind of see what I'm talking about. Yeah, so I, I rocked there for a few months. I felt so carefree, so free from all of that, <laughs> spending all day on my hair, trying to have this perfect curly hair. I just cut all of it out. And then... Um, I went back to using grease, girl, because my hair, I'm not had a haircut, girl. I put some grease on my hair and brush it and keep it pushing, like, kept it pushing. I even started to um, experiment with a little color. I was having a little fun with it for a little while. And then I decided I wanted to try again and grow my hair back. But you know what I said to myself? I'm not doing all the crap I was doing before. Not doing it. I kept my routine the same as it was when I had that haircut. Girl, I shampooed my hair. I put a little rinse out conditioner on it. And I put some uh, leave-in and, and some grease, brushed it, and kept it going. Except now that I'm growing hair, now it's leave-in grease and twist it or braid it. You know, do some type of style to it and keep it pushing. I was still using deep conditioners. I will say that I did not stop doing that in my routine but as of late, I have stopped doing that. I don't even sit, I'm not sitting up under no dryer trying to deep condition my hair. I just don't have time, okay? 
I got three children that keep me busy, okay? I have a household to maintain. I am a homeschool parent. Like, so I have just done things in my life to create time for me. And one thing that I realized is to have healthy, beautiful hair, I don't need to do all these steps. I don't need to use a hundred products trying to chase the perfect curl pattern, trying to get my hair to wash and go and do all this stuff. I don't need to do that. And it doesn't work for my lifestyle. Cause I don't want to, I'm not the type of person, I don't have time to sit down and shampoo and style my hair every week. I do not, it's just not possible. It's not possible, and I'm not going to try to force it, okay? Because I would just be walking around here looking a mess. And, you know, we, I'm done with it. I'm done walking around here looking a mess. Even if I'm not going nowhere, I still want to have my hair done and look presentable and be ready to go at the door. So, okay, y'all. <laughs> Okay, yeah, enough for all of that. So let me just get into what I've been doing as of late. I think tools play a major part in um, how well you're, you are able to uh, detangle your hair and how manageable your hair will be after you've shampooed and conditioned. So I like to detangle my hair with either, either the tangle teaser or a wet brush. Those are my two favorite. I do twist my hair after I detangle a section just to keep it, you know, from shrinking all the way back up on my head until I get in the shower. And I do, I undo all my twists, get in the shower, and I shampoo my hair with all of my hair free. And I don't have any issues doing that. I don't miss spots in my hair. I rarely, rarely ever get out of the shower and still have conditioner in my hair. Um, it's all about what you're doing, what you're using on your hair. Find a shampoo that works for you. Stop using shampoos that dry your hair out. I personally love this shampoo from African Pride. This is the Moisture Miracle Shampoo. Um, the Nourish and Shine Honey and Coconut Oil. I love this shampoo. It is very moisturizing. Um, it doesn't take a whole lot to get a good lather. Um, the, by the second shampoo, I got a really, really good lather. I've shampooed my hair up to three times with this and my hair still doesn't feel stripped or dried out. Love it. Um, I also like the conditioner, the matching conditioner with this um, to just go ahead and rinse out. I don't suggest you sitting around with it on your head think you finna deep condition everything because it's brown it, it will stain so yeah just using it as a rinse out conditioner i like it too i think that one may have a little protein in it or whatever i'm not sure i don't use it all the time but it is a good one um my favorite conditioner to put on my hair is this aussie three minute moisture miracle um yeah moisty conditioner Three Minute Miracle Moist Deep Conditioner uh, with avocado and, jo and jojoba oil. I love this. It is it's thick. You get plenty of slip. Um, and I always put my conditioner on while I'm in the shower after I've shampooed my hair. My hair is soaking wet. I do not squeeze all the water out of my hair. I go ahead and put my conditioner on. You do not need a whole lot of conditioner if your hair is wet. And that is the key to not having conditioner stuck in your hair after the fact. You know, when you get out, you get out of the shower and your hair is already starting to dry and you're trying to put this deep conditioner on your hair and then you're going to sit under the dryer. Like, yeah, I used to have issues with still having like a patch somewhere with some conditioner in my hair doing all of it. I don't do that, that anymore. The water kind of helps thin things out and gives you a little more slip and it well it, it helps spread your product you know so you ain't using the whole damn bottle on your head <laughs> and it still works fine you know it still works the same you using most of the product at the bottle is not gonna make your hair no softer it's not <laughs> So, ain't no point of you wasting your money like that. So, yeah, I do that. And this is what I like to do. After I put my um, conditioner in my hair, I will pull all my hair up. Girl, and it's a lot, okay? When it's all out, it's a lot. I will pull all my hair up into a ponytail on the top of my head. Pull it all up into a ponytail. Wash my body. 
then I rinse that conditioner out, take that ponytail out, rinse, my, rinse the conditioner out, put my hair back up into that ponytail until I'm done with my routine. I wash again and get the, make sure I get all the conditioner off my back and stuff from rinsing. Um, and that's it. And it gives my hair a little stretch. Me leaving it up in that ponytail until I am dressed and I'm ready to style my hair. My hair is not tangling back up on itself. It is in that ponytail. It's kind of dry. It's starting to dry, stretching at the root, which I don't care if it's starting to dry anyway because I'm using moisturizing products. It's not going to be hell trying to detangle my hair or to style my hair. Next, after I've done that, I use my tangle teaser or my um or my wet brush again. I don't detangle in the shower anymore. I feel like it's pointless and it don't do nothing. You just be in there, that water running, and then the shit get cold on you. Yes, I have the issue where I live that water will turn cold on you. Okay, you will run out of hot water trying to do all of that, taking all day trying to detangle your hair again in the shower. I think it's pointless. If you if you detangled your hair before you got in the shower, you should be fine. Okay, <laughs> don't grab a comb or no brush until you get out the shower <laughs> till you're ready to style your hair that's just my opinion that's what works for me i'm not telling you what to do um what i'm saying is just take this is just, i'm just sharing with you what i do for my hair this is what works for me so yeah i'm just saying just use my routine as an example to just kind of think about what's necessary in your routine you know what's ne what i find unnecessary in my routine you may find that it is necessary in your routine like the reason i don't think deep conditioning is, is necessary in my routine is because i'm not having issues with breakage um i do not have color treated hair i am not uh, straightening my hair all the time i probably straighten my hair once or twice a year those will be the only times that i will use deep conditioner um if i don't you know unless i just feel like pampering myself one day before i straighten my hair i will use a deep conditioner and then after you know when i'm trying to when i'm about to uh wash it you know to get it to revert or whatever i probably put like a little strengthening mask or something on it but that is it i don't feel like i need to i don't have my hair is not severely damaged i don't have little tiny pieces of hair um, all over my counter and all over my floor when I do my hair. I'm not having those types of issues. So why am I taking all this time and spending all this money on these expensive ass deep conditioners and they're not needed? I can get the same thing that I'm looking for in this, which is just to soften my hair for styling and a rinse out conditioner, you know, that's all. And um, moving on past the wash process. So the only thing I use in my hair is a styling product. Whether it's a leave-in or a curling cream, I will choose one. I don't need both. I've realized that my hair does not need both. One or the other, one styling product. So I grabbed this um, just to show you guys. I do love this. It is the Moisture Miracle Coconut Oil. And I don't know what kind of oil that is bio bab i don't know anyway <laughs> it's the um it's just the hydrate and strength and leave-in cream i really like this it is very moisturizing it is thick it is it has lots of slip and it does a good job of keeping my hair moisturized and then i always top it off with some type of grease i like to use blue magic i used to i like to use softy like i don't really care about the brand so much just as long as i like the formula one more thing i want to touch on is styling find hairstyles that work for your lifestyle if you want to be natural and you like having your natural hair like and you just feel like it's a bit much for you sometimes find styles that work better with your lifestyle like me I, like i said i am a very busy mom I homeschool, I, you know, I'm a stay at home mom. I am very busy with my children and I don't have energy. I don't have the energy to put into, um, you know, all this extensive hairstyling or hairstyles that just take forever or things that I, you know, I have to be in my hair every day. I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. <laughs> so what I found that I have been loving is just doing 
mini braids or mini twists. Those are my favorite go-to hairstyles. For one, my hair is always done. It is always done. Like, I don't have to wake up and worry about, oh my God, I need to do my hair. Only thing I have to worry about from time to time is like, uh, yeah, I probably should moisturize my hair. <laughs> but that's it. You know, and it's easier for me to keep my hair clean as well when I have these hair types of hairstyles and I can still shampoo my hair every two weeks and put in conditioning every two weeks and it just not take a whole lot of time. You know, I don't have to restyle my hair. You know, I can wash and condition my hair while it's still in this style. And for me, I like them when they get old. The older the style gets, the better it looks, the more natural it looks, you know, because your um, your parts aren't so visible. So I like that. I like when my hair doesn't look perfect. I stopped doing added hair, y'all. I do not want to fool with no braid hair, none of that stuff. Adding hair takes even more time. Like this hairstyle, I think it took me like three hours to do. And it, I, it lasts like, um, I can get a good six to eight weeks of wear out of many braids and many twists in my hair. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> less time, still same amount of uh, wear, longevity as you would with added hair. Yeah, I'm going to just stick to just, you know, putting these in with just my hair. I don't care about having no hair all down to my butt. I don't care. <laughs> That's just, I just don't care. No, I don't care about all that. I don't have to be trendy. I just want to look good and look put together like I did some of myself this morning. And that's good enough for me. So that's what works for my lifestyle. I hope this wasn't too long. I hope I wasn't too long-winded about it. But yes, I am very passionate about it, y'all. Because like I said, me coming to this point in my life has been a journey. And um, yeah, if you've been natural for a long time, I'm sure you can relate to a lot of what I've talked about. But yeah, y'all, yeah, leave me some comments down in the comment section. Let's continue the conversation. What are some things you've done to simplify your natural hair care routine? I'm so curious. I would love to know. Um, yeah, girl, if y'all been on a struggle bus like me trying to figure out you know, how we gonna condense our wash days and make things a little more quicker and easy, breezy, beautiful, you know, for us, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, my wash day routines are gone from a all day process to like, girl, I be done with, with my hair in a good two, three hours, just <laughs> depending on what style I'm doing, you know what I mean? Like, it don't take me all day no more, which I freaking love and I enjoy that. I, now, I don't dread wash day. I no longer dread it. Lord, we have come a long way. We've come a long way. guys enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up you guys please share this video y'all share this with look anybody you know that's natural that you know you done heard them complain a time or two about washing their hair or just styling it and just you know being like man what the hell something gotta give share this video share it with them and see if they enjoy it um yeah, I hope to see you guys the next time I upload. Oh, yeah, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Please, we are trying to grow over here. I would love to hit 1K soon. But in the meantime, in between time, I'm going to just keep doing me. Keeping it kosher over here. See y'all later. Bye.